Let's dig deeper into the Kenyan numbers. Julian Mboko is an analyst with uh, Nairobi-based Stratlink Africa. He's with me in studio right now. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me, Robert. Um, in May, the Kenyan National Bureau of Statistics forecast a 20% rise. Today, we're seeing numbers that essentially are way higher than that. What stood out for you in the revised data? I think when I look at the numbers, there are two fundamental things. Um, ICT is now a standalone sector by itself, and I think that was long overdue because Kenya has been growing by about 5% for about a decade now. ICT has been growing by anything between 15 and 18%, and a therefore year. that a year, yes, that by itself was really important. But on the flip side, if you look at the revised growth figures, um, Kenya has been on a steady path based on the prior to the rebased uh, numbers of 4.4 in 2011, 4.6 uh, in 2012, and 4.7 in 2013. If you now look at the revised figures, it has, after 2011, we had a dip from 6.1 to 4.5 percent. And that is important because for Kenya, it tells us we haven't yet weaned ourselves of uh, vulnerabilities to electoral cycle shocks to the economy, and that will be very critical going forward. Right. Uh, however, looking at real estate, because some of the numbers here, frankly, are absolutely shocking, like um, on occupied dwellings, accounting for about 2 percent of GDP, and this was way back in May, but based on the revisions for 2009 alone, that went all the way up to about 8 percent of GDP. Yes. Why is such a huge portion of the real estate market off the radar from a statistics pers perspective? I, I think, uh, in the, I mean, in the spirit of just revising statistics, we have had massive data hiccups until this revision. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, prior to the rebasing, if you asked for any data with regard to uh, property in, in Nairobi, they would, in, in Kenya rather, they would give you statistics for Nairobi, Mombasa and Kisumu. And that was it? And that was it. You wouldn't have Machakos, you wouldn't have Eldoret, you wouldn't have Nakuru, which are increasingly becoming satellites of growth uh, within the economy. And therefore, from the real estate perspective, it has been largely a matter of data hiccups now being uh, rectified. And of course, the fact of the matter is, if you look at the mortgage accounts as a proxy indicator, that doesn't really tell you much because it's a really tiny portion of the entire market as a whole. <laughs> In, indeed, it's very tiny. I mean, uh, when you look at the mortgage to GDP, it's about 3 to 4 percent, which is really, really small. But uh, that could change going forward because we are witnessing uh, a downtrend in commercial bank lending rates and also mortgage rates uh, from about 19 two years ago to about 16 percent right now, mm -hmm. which easily would make the uptick, would uh, beef up the uptick of mortgage by uh, the markets in the, in the economy. Manufacturing as well. Um, for quite a long time, a lot of people have argued that manufacturing in Kenya is in decline. Yesterday's news that ever really shutting down one of its production plants has been around for 47 years, yeah. essentially adding to that narrative. But today's data suggests manufacturing is actually bigger yes. than we have thought before. Yeah. Why? Uh, I mean, if you look at manufacturing, there has been a shift which I believe has not been captured in the past years. Kenya's manufacturing policy, if you go down 20 years, has gradually shifted from import substitution industrialization to export like oriented. Like textiles and so on. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. To export oriented industrialization. And that shift, I think, especially in the period of, of the 90s and uh, the, f the, the decade just between 2000 and 2010, mm -hmm. was not sufficiently captured because th there have been serious data issues and um, we haven't taken manufacturing as seriously as we should. But going forward, with the kind of market we are seeing uh, in the Eastern Central Africa mm -hmm. and the kind of expansion we are seeing uh, by some of the companies within this market, it is vitally important that we now review the manner in which we regard manufacturing in this sector. All this right. Country. Unfortunately, we'll have to leave it there, but that's all the time we have for this conversation. Thank you for your time this evening. I really appreciate uh, it. We've been speaking to Julian Mboko. He's Julian S. Mboko on Twitter. In case you want to follow him, continue this conversation as well to dig deeper into the numbers.